Hello dear students, welcome back to online learning. So today, in this session, we will discuss about uh, integral enthalpy of solution and dilution. See, in the previous class, we have discussed about standard states of substances and also about the standard enthalpy of formation. So in continuation, in this chapter, we will discuss about very important terms that is about the integral enthalpy of solution and dilution. So before that, let us try to see what is solution or dissolution process and what is dilution process. Generally, in major difference of Pantanare, dissolution means so the solvent and solute they are mixed so that it will get the homogeneous mixture called solution. Solute, for example, salt is added to uh, water, what will get? will get a solution and that process is called dissolution or solution making. Dilution and rain, already we have a solution of salt, to that you will add some more water, so that it will become more dilute. Here on the solution, you know, sulpa solvent and high gida, other concentration, you know, the process is the Dilution and the way you add no final stages are same solution say, but initial stages are different. In case of dissolution, initial stage only pure solvent is the solute is the they have mixed again a la other dilution the gay already mixed again the way other key solvent and a hack period. That's the only difference. Are they the dissolution and the way solute and a solvent a hacky solution mod on the process so dilution and the way. Ironta solution nana, no sulpa solvent hack with two other na, less concentrated model though. That is called as dilution. So, both these processes they involve these three important stages. How power and other way, you know, the other one solute nana, solventally dissolve modri, in a way, the first two, solutally attack on the particles, so, how very very high is subject act away. For example, if you are adding NaCl into water, and the other example, the first thing I have done is water will have to touch the Na plus Cl minus so, our chemical bond, ionic bond, bond in the edu on the condo joint like that way. Na plus Cl minus so first to separate the bond, so the bond has to be broken between the the constituents of the solute particles. Amale next thing I have done is that the water is there, water is solvent. Water only water water intermolecular forces of attraction are there. How water solvent particles are how separate are they? Solid particles are separate are they? Solid particles are separate are they? How many le solid to matte solvent to mix agi osa bondu bondu formation are they? So solid particles are separate are they? Bond break are they? Energy absorb are they? Solvent particles are separate are they? Matte matte bondu break are they? Energy absorb are they? Adhe Solution form of a solvent to the solid particles are added to the joint and the bond formation is the energy and the release is the same. In this process, the enthalpy of solution is the same. So that is defined as the enthalpy change of a solution. It refers to the amount of heat that is released or absorbed. The solution preparation is the same. Amount of energy released is the same. Absorb आगे रहो दो आव अंदु एंथैल्पी के हिंद के किसी भी अंदर एंथैल्पी ऑफ सॉल्यूशन अंदर करी थी भी एंथैल्पी ऑफ सॉल्यूशन में भी एन एंडोथर्मिक प्रोसेस और इट में भी एन एक्सोथर्मिक प्रोसेस फॉर एग्जांपल यू लैबली अमोनियम क्लोराइड ना वाटर ले आके रखे ये नगते हीट एब्जोर्ब करते ओके स a solution making may be endothermic or exothermic, whatever it is, but whatever the change in enthalpy that takes place during the making of the solution, so that is called as enthalpy of solution and the kathare, or enthalpy of dissolution and the kathare. Here, important term, very important term, so this is integral enthalpy of solution. What is this integral enthalpy of solution? Let us see what is the integral enthalpy of solution. See, it is the total heat evolved for enthalpy change when one mole of solute 
is dissolved in specified amount of solvent. So that is important. One mole of a solvent and na one do specified specific. Okay, known amount of solvent will dissolve. Mar daage. That is enthalpy change. Agatthala. So that is called as integral enthalpy of solution. Ili solute also specified definite quantity and solvent also definite quantity. Andre. Iga one mole of sugar na. Okay. Iga ten mole of water le dissolve mar daage. Yes to enthalpy change agatthe. That is called as integral enthalpy of solution. Okay, that should be specified. Yes to water, yes to solute. That means yes to solvent, yes to solute. I don't specify again. Because under that, that is called as integral enthalpy of solution. It need not to be ten mole or still. It can be hundred mole, but it should be specified. In our example, that we have taken one mole. That is fixed. One mole of solute SCL, and ten mole of water again dissolve. That is ten mole is fixed. So our again enthalpy change again. That is so that is called as Integral enthalpy of solution. That is done. If you have 68 kilojoule, that is done. That means 68 kilojoule of energy release. That is release. That is minus. As I already told, okay, the absorption that is plus. So, one mole of HCl is 10 moles of water. Okay, that is done. Okay, that is solution. That is done. A solution formation. That is done. In enthalpy release, that is done. That is called as integral enthalpy of solution. So, it will not be 10. If you take 50. Then this will be the enthalpy of integral enthalpy of solution. Okay, but this should be specified. So one mole, fifty mole water. Okay, okay. So this is integral enthalpy of solution. And then one mole, ten mole of water. Okay, okay. This is enthalpy of integral enthalpy of solution. Mathematically, we can write molar integral enthalpy of solution. Okay, okay. Molar means that one mole. Okay, that is if you calculate the total enthalpy of solution and divide it by number of moles of solute dissolved. Okay, then it is called as the molar integral enthalpy of solution. Both are almost one and the same. So now we'll see integral enthalpy of dilution. That part. If I go now solution, then what is it? That is dilution. Dilution is already we have solution. That is solution. Okay, but then now solvent is added. So that is again enthalpy change. That part. So that is called as integral enthalpy of dilution. That part. That is. So then define what that part is. Enthalpy change. When a solution, already existing solution, is diluted from one specified concentration, if one molar solution is there, okay, that now we are talking point one molar, we are talking about that dilute molar, one molar is there, na point one molar, we are talking about that. We are talking about that. We have to add the solvent, solvent is there, add molar. So then, that enthalpy change at constant temperature and pressure is called as integral enthalpy of Dilution. Okay. Once again, I repeat here. It is a change in enthalpy of a solution. Okay. When it is diluted from one specified concentration to another specified concentration at a constant temperature and pressure. Okay. Here an example. The whole thing. Already we have a solution. Here we have one mole of HCl and a ten mole of water. So dissolve my water already. So that is solution one. इधर के मतलब 40 मोल ऑफ वाटर आती है ना और ये लगता है इन्हों डाइल्यूट आ जाता है ओके दैट बिकम्स सॉल्यूशन टू सो फॉर कन्वर्शन ऑफ दिस सॉल्यूशन वन टू सॉल्यूशन टू बाय एडिंग सॉल्वेंट सो दैट इस डाइल्यूशन प्रोसेस अब आगे एंथेल्पी चेंज आ गया तो दैट इस कॉल्ड एस इंटीग्रल एंथेल्पी ऑफ Released when it is diluted from this one to this one. Solution one to solution two. Then molar integral enthalpy of dilution. That means, I mean, whatever the change that takes place for a given dilution process in terms of enthalpy divided by number of moles, you will get the molar integral enthalpy of dilution. Both are one and the same. That is only one mole of solute. Okay. Now heat of solution. Of a substance at infinite dilution, it is another term. Heat of solution of a substance at infinite dilution. Infinite solution, you know, if the amount of solvent used is so large, so that the further addition of solvent 
no longer causes change in integral enthalpy of solution. Yeah, 10 mole again, 40 mole again, change it. 50 mole again, change it. 60 mole again, change it. And the solvent and just the more cone to hold. Yes, just the more cone to hold a pant on the solvent and a high again, and they'll be change our body. How on do and they'll be again, it is called as uh, the heat of solution or enthalpy of solution of a substance at infinite dilution. Once again, I repeat, repeat it here. If the amount of solvent used is so large that further addition of solvent no longer causes change in integral enthalpy of solution per mole of the solvent, then it is called as the uh, heat of solution of substance at infinite dilution. Solvent and just the amount of solvent so that but the addition of solvent and a high grade, and the other enthalpy change all about the Anta on the enthalpy gay in the category heat of solution of enthalpy of solution of a substance at infinite dilution in the category. In the example, the old KCL potassium chloride and a vast water high bit again. Okay, in a 18.58 kilojoules of the maximum release of that is observable. Or KCL like the observable, it is endothermic process. Okay, are they copper sulfate? Release is minus 66.48 kilojoules. You know, just the water I can stay no change in uh, enthalpy takes place. So, these two are called as the heat of solution of a substance at infinite dilution. So, just try to memorize these uh, definitions and try to understand the concepts. How do you know integral enthalpy of solution, then integral enthalpy of dilution, then the heat of solution of a substance at infinite dilution with examples. So further things we'll discuss in the next class. Thank you.